Earlier tonight, our next guest made his debut as a cruise ship doctor. You know, I'm going on a cruise ship with magic, Guillermo. Yeah, finally, yeah! I'm happy for you! Yeah! I gotta concentrate on Josh. Uh, you can watch Dr. Odyssey. Uh, it is on uh, ABC here Thursday nights. Please welcome Joshua Jackson. <laughs> Thank you. Good I, I have to say, I think you have a big hit on your hands with this show. I mean, really. I'm like, right. I hope so. This is. So the trailer for this television show. Yes. Got 77 million views in 48 hours. Yeah. Which is completely crazy. It's like a Marvel movie. Well, I'm Irish, so I, I have a lot of cousins, and they really put the work in. They and must I appreciate have, that. They must have put yeah. in some overtime watching this thing. I mean, that's a, that it's must have crazy. surprised the hell out of you guys. I mean, you know, you do these things, and and you hope for the best, but never in my wildest dreams. As we were having the premiere last week. The press lady came up, she's like, by the way, do you know that there's gonna be nearly 80 million people that have seen the trailer by tomorrow morning? I was like, what? That's ridiculous. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Yeah, it's crazy. I've never heard of anything like it for a television show. I certainly, I've been doing this for a minute and I have definitely never had that happen you before. You play uh, the doctor on a cruise ship, which yes. is a you know, long tradition of TV cruise ship doctors, which include Doc from the Love Boat. Yes. <laughs> And you, well, I assume really. is and my just father. You. Yeah. He yeah. has to be my father. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, <laughs> and uh, and some strange things happened on, on the pilot. <laughs> yes. Uh, you were put to work immediately. Immediately, yes. There was a man who looked just like John Madden, who um, had to, <laughs> you had to uh, act because he ate too many shrimp. He had an allergic right. well, he reaction. He had a really bad cruise, actually. He had the shrimp and the collarbone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tough. yeah. You had a, um, uh, you in a flashback revealed that you were the first COVID patient zero. Yep, that was me. You, um, you're welcome, you everybody. You saved somebody from drowning. <laughs> And you operated, uh, a couple was making love in their cabin, and uh, the man broke his penis. He did, yes. And you did an operation at sea. Yes, on said penis, yes. Yes, which is something that, well, I mean, I hope the stabilizers were on, yes. just to start with. <laughs> they probably don't do a whole lot of operations at sea. I mean, I think we maybe take some liberties with what you goes on. We took some liberties. Yes, yes, we took some liberties. But what I'm wondering is, like, like Grey's Anatomy, they got to the broken penis in like season 11. Right. <laughs> right. They really built to the penis, the broken penis. Yeah. And um, I think somebody had a gun in their vagina once. Uh, Have you ever seen a Ryan Murphy show? I, I yeah, yeah. You're not waiting to see. No, season you're 11 not for waiting. Anything. Yeah. But I'm wondering where can you go from um, oh. from broken penis? Well, like, you can't go to, like, ringworm, you know? <laughs> it has to be a particularly nasty ringworm. It would have to be a ringworm that eats everybody yes, on exactly. board. Yeah. Uh, I'm here to tell you we're nine episodes into shooting it, and there are a nearly infinite amount of disgusting things you can do to the human body. Oh, OK. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so something you've learned to look a lot. To every week. <laughs> are you feeling like um, you're getting some real medical knowledge now? Yeah, yeah, sure. If we're on a plane and if, if they say, you know, is there a doctor on board, I'm absolutely ringing that call. <laughs> I'm here. What could go wrong? I heard your brother's a real, your brother is <laughs> actually a, a real doctor. A yeah, doctor. ruining his life. <laughs> yeah. Is this annoying him? Well, so the other doctor that I've played was Dr. Death. So yeah, this is better. Right. OK, this yeah, yeah, better. that's better. You don't want a, your brother to be Dr. Yeah, Death. No, yeah. that did not work out well for him. But the, the, He's definitely annoyed with the, like, every time I get a script, I'm like, hey, Jonathan, um, so what would happen if? And he's like, what in the world are you working on? Like, the other night I was talking to him, I was like, so we have this situation, and I think a bowel resection is how we should deal with this. And he was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> You're giving second opinion, or first opinions, first opinion, I guess, yeah, and asking yeah. for his I second. I figure I could just walk into his emergency room now what? and do it. Oh, so he's an ER doc. Yeah, no, he's the real, he's like legit, he's the good son. He's the, yeah. <laughs> He's the one that they're proud of. Exactly. Yes. It's like, yeah. We have this one and that one. <laughs> Do you, are you, will you now start getting into like medical talk with him in general, like as if you are a doctor? Do you have any doctor friends? Well, I will tell you, my brother in law is a doctor. Okay. And I got an honorary doctorate from my um, alma mater, UNLV, and I started call, insisting that everyone refer to me as Dr. <laughs> Kim. <laughs> And most everybody was fine with it, except he was a little annoyed by it because apparently he had to go to medical school. 
He had to do internships. Ah. He had to like touch blood. Yeah. I did none of those things. But you felt it. And I that's still what's feel important. it. I didn't felt it. I Sorry. I feel it. Dr. Kimmel, it is a pleasure to be on your show. And I will add another thing. I was on a plane. It was a week after <laughs> I got this honorary doctorate. <laughs> And the, there was an old man in the seat in front of me, <laughs> oh and he God. keeled over. And the, and I swear to God, this is true. It was um, it was like a Spirit Airlines flight or something. I don't know. Like the the, the like the cabin was t held together with duct tape. And um, <laughs> and they said, "Is there a doctor on board?" And I just had this moment where I was like, "Am I going to explain that it's an honorary doctorate?" <laughs> But no. Instead, I decided to let someone else handle it. Oh, yeah. the yeah. opportunity was right uh, the there. The opportunity is there. I didn't want to have a death on my hands, also, though. Okay, that's fair. Don okay. Johnson's the captain on the yes, show. Yes, he is. Which is, it's, you know, it's funny Perfect. to see him in the captain's uniform yeah. just to start with. <laughs> yeah, it's he, amazing. He seems like he would be, like, if I was on a show with an actor who'd been through a lot of stuff, I would, Don Johnson would be in my top five guys yeah, I would want it to for be. For sure. I mean, he is a legend. Yeah. Just, and I want to start out with saying he's a prince. He's so much fun to work with. But really, on camera is fine. It's all fun. But really, to be around Don is to just like sit like this and just listen. Because, man, those stories are out of control. He's got a lot of good ones. He's lived a life. Yeah. He yeah. has lived a life. And, and, and he shares them freely? He shares them probably too freely. Because no. <laughs> you're all mic'd up, so God only knows where those are going. Has he ever broken his penis on a ship? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't asked him directly, but I think it's likely. <laughs> I think it's well, totally within the realm of possibility. Well, it's great to see you. Congratulations you. on the show. Uh, the show is called Dr. Odyssey. It is on uh, ABC. I can't believe we got a, like, a big show right here on ABC. Yes, okay. Thursday night, 9 o'clock. Joshua Jackson, everybody. Dr. Joshua Jackson. We'll be back with Lyle Smith. <laughs>